Greetings viewers! In today's exploration, we delve into the lives of ten emperors whose reigns are often characterized by controversy, oppression, and the abuse of power. While discussing their actions, we approach this topic with solemnity and respect for the historical complexities. Number 1. Emperor Nero. Our journey begins in the heart of the Roman Empire, with Emperor Nero. Born in AD 37 in Antium, Italy, Nero's reign was marked by a series of ill-fated decisions that would forever tarnish his legacy. Initially seen as a young ruler with potential, Nero's early actions, such as supporting the arts and theater, gave way to a darker side. His alleged role in the Great Fire of Rome in AD 64 sparked widespread outrage. Despite rumors that he played the liar as the city burned, historical accuracy remains debated. His ruthless persecution of Christians and brutal executions of family members highlighted his unchecked cruelty. As Nero's reign drew to a close, his self-indulgent excesses led to rebellion, ultimately resulting in his death. Nero's story reminds us that the pursuit of power without restraint can lead to the downfall of even the mightiest rulers. Number 2. Caligula. Our journey through Rome's tumultuous history brings us to Gaius Julius Caesar Augustus Germanicus, more commonly known as Caligula. Born in AD 12, Caligula's early reign held promise, as he initially worked to restore relationships with the Senate and people of Rome. However, his mental state deteriorated over time, and his actions took a disturbing turn. He declared himself a god and demanded worship, demonstrating a dangerous delusion of grandeur. His whimsical decisions, such as appointing his horse as a consul, highlighted his erratic behavior. The Roman populace lived in fear, with arbitrary executions and acts of sadism becoming disturbingly common. Caligula's assassination in AD 41 marked the end of his tyrannical reign, leaving behind a legacy that serves as a cautionary tale of the dangers of unchecked authority. Number 3. Ivan the Terrible. Our next stop brings us to Russia, where Ivan IV, also known as Ivan the Terrible, ascended to the throne in the 16th century. Ivan's rule began with promise, as he centralized power and expanded Russia's territories. However, as his reign continued, his temperament grew increasingly erratic and violent. A series of personal tragedies further exacerbated his descent into cruelty. Ivan's Oprichnina, a state-sanctioned campaign of terror, saw widespread oppression, executions, and confiscations of property. This period of brutal repression left deep scars on the Russian populace. Ivan's erratic behavior extended even to his own family, with the infamous incident in which he fatally struck his own son in a fit of rage. Ivan's legacy serves as a reminder that even rulers who initially bring progress can fall victim to their darker impulses, leading to untold suffering. Number 4. Emperor Yang of Sui. Shifting to the east, we encounter Emperor Yang of Sui in China. Despite achievements in infrastructure, his oppressive policies and excessive taxation led to widespread unrest. His costly campaigns and public works projects drained the empire's resources and burdened the population. The construction of the Grand Canal, while benefiting trade, had a heavy human cost. Emperor Yang's rule serves as a reminder of the consequences of prioritizing grand ambitions over the well-being of the people. Number 5. Emperor Qin Shi Huang. Emperor Qin Shi Huang, often hailed as the first emperor of a unified China, also carried a legacy of harsh rule. While credited with the construction of the Great Wall and the Terracotta Army, his centralized power and oppressive measures suppressed dissent. The burning of the books and the standardization of thought reflect his control over intellectual freedom. The achievements of his reign are tempered by the methods used to achieve them. Number 6. Pol Pot. Let's examine Pol Pot, the leader of the Khmer Rouge in Cambodia from 1975 to 1979. His radical Maoist policies caused the deaths of around 1.7 million people, a quarter of Cambodia's population. Forced labor camps and brutal purges scarred the nation. Pol Pot's obsession with an agrarian society led to mass displacement, with people subjected to harsh labor. Intellectuals and perceived enemies were executed, creating an atmosphere of fear. The Cambodian genocide stands as a chilling reminder of the consequences of unchecked ideology and power. Pol Pot's legacy is a grim testament to the devastation that extreme ideology and unchecked power can inflict. This chapter of history compels us to remain vigilant against such horrors. Fact 7. King Leopold. Now, let's uncover the disturbing legacy of King Leopold of Belgium, who ruled the Congo Free State from 1885 to 1908. Despite his veneer of philanthropy, Leopold's reign was marred by brutal exploitation. 
he ruthlessly extracted resources, particularly rubber, leading to forced labor, violence, and death. The suffering inflicted upon the Congolese people serves as a stark reminder of the horrors of unchecked colonialism. Reflecting on King Leopold's reign, the consequences of his brutal exploitation in the Congo remain stark. The international outcry that emerged ultimately led to the transfer of control to the Belgian state in 1908. The atrocities committed during his rule, and the suffering endured by the Congolese people, have left an enduring legacy that highlights the devastating impact of unchecked power and colonialism. Number 8. Emperor Maximilian. Let's now explore Emperor Maximilian's brief but tumultuous reign in Mexico during the mid-19th century. Backed by the French Empire, he attempted to establish a constitutional monarchy. However, facing resistance from Mexican nationalists and waning French support, his rule crumbled. Maximilian's story serves as a cautionary tale of foreign intervention, ambition, and the challenges of governing a nation with a complex history. Emperor Maximilian's fate was sealed in 1867 when he was captured, tried, and executed. His brief and ill-fated reign serves as a reminder of the challenges that foreign intervention and ambitious aspirations can pose to the stability of a nation. Number 9. Emperor Bokassa. Emperor Jean Bedel Bokassa of the Central African Republic was a self-proclaimed emperor whose rule was characterized by authoritarianism and extravagant displays of wealth. His coronation ceremony, reminiscent of Napoleon, strained the nation's resources. The massacre of schoolchildren during his reign shocked the world. Emperor Bokassa's legacy highlights the dangers of unchecked power and the impact of personal ambitions on a nation. Emperor Bokassa's oppressive reign continued until 1979 when international pressure and economic struggles led to his downfall. His brutal regime and disregard for human life left a lasting scar on the Central African Republic. Number 10. Emperor Domitian. Returning to Rome, we encounter Emperor Domitian, whose reign was marked by paranoia and cruelty. His authoritarian rule led to the persecution of perceived enemies, including senators and philosophers. Domitian's obsession with control and his efforts to eradicate dissent have parallels with other despotic rulers. His eventual assassination served as a cautionary tale about the potential consequences of abusing authority. Emperor Domitian's rule came to a dramatic end with his assassination in 96 AD. His legacy serves as a stark reminder of the perils of authoritarianism and the impact of leaders who prioritize control over the well-being of their subjects. And there you have it our exploration of the top 10 worst emperors in history. These rulers, through their tyrannical reigns, disastrous policies, and disregard for human life, have left indelible marks on the pages of history. As we reflect on their actions, let's strive to learn from the past and work towards a future that upholds justice, compassion, and the well-being of all. Thank you for joining us, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Until next time.